There's rainbow flags everywhere promoting transgender issues, promoting gay issues, but you're going to tell me that I can't use the woman's bathroom. It was a pretty ordinary Thursday night for Billy Matthews and a few of her friends who were bar hopping around downtown Buffalo and Allentown. Just having a regular night, had a couple of drinks, and I went to the ladies' room, per usual, to put lipstick on and just fix my eyeliner. That's when Matthews says things got unusual, when a member of Cathode Ray's security staff came in and told her no men were allowed in the women's bathroom. I said, well, I don't see any men, and I think you're confused. And he said, you're a man, you need to get out of the bathroom. Matthews' story about being asked to leave the well-known gay bar began to spread around the LGBTQ community and social media. Monday night, a group of her supporters gathered in front of Catho to protest. You have the heterosexuals and the majority against you, and then you have your own sort of queer people against you too, and it's like really disheartening. Cathode Ray owner John Little took to Facebook to defend himself, saying she was asked to leave not because she was transgender, but because there were multiple people in the stall. Monday night, his lawyer revised the statement a bit, saying it was not Matthews who was the problem in the bathroom. The issue was there was a male in the restroom. There was no discrimination against any trans, uh, transgendered individual. Um, that transgender individual has used the female restrooms numerous times. But Matthews says she went in the bathroom by herself, and the owner specifically told her she was not a woman and couldn't use the bathroom when she confronted him. People are welcome to come to the bar and observe for themselves. Um, if you frequent Cathode Ray, you'll find that they're very diverse. I have not used a men's bathroom and I want to say about six to seven years unless I absolutely had to go and there was no ladies room. Despite the experience, Matthew says she believes Buffalo has a generally open mind about the transgender community, and this is the first time she's been kicked out of a public restroom. In Buffalo, Ryan Whalen, Time Warner Cable News.